of four or five, uh, my father was gone. Um, it was me, my mom, my brother and two sisters. Growing up where I grew up at, it was, it was, it was pretty bad. I got kicked out of the first couple schools I was in. I was like that, I felt like that kid that was alone, nobody understood me. Once, once I got into my junior year, that's when my grandfather became sick. He ended up passing in my senior year, and uh, I really let all that take a toll on me. I just let that, I let it consume me. I started having health problems, and I would lose my jobs because of that. I would, I would work at my sister's salon. Uh, I uh, asked the lady that works at the salon uh, about getting back on my feet. She asked me if I ever heard of CityLink. And I said, City what? And I said, no. And she said, well, I have a brochure in my car. Go get it, make the phone call. So that's exactly what I did that day. And the next week, I was at CityLink. My first day of walking into CityLink was like nothing I've ever seen before. I have never seen so many smiling faces in one place like that. It was so welcoming and so weird at the same time. After we went through the, the information session, I found out about the, the Cornerstone uh, construction training. It, it came at a perfect time. So I uh, once I got with my coordinator, she uh, told me about the, the requirements I had to have in order to go through the training, and the journey began. When clients like Rico are interested in the Cornerstone Construction Training Program, I talk to them about what that will look like. So it's a four-week training program. They cover the NCCER curriculum and also do everything they need to be OSHA 10 certified. And then upon graduation, we connect them with employment in the construction field if transportation is a barrier, we also work with them to meet that need through the Changing Gears Bridge program. With the construction class lasting for four weeks and we saw the, the criteria in which we had to learn, I was saying, how is all this possible? At the same time, it was very exciting. And so I'd be up late nights trying to study because I knew how serious this was. Mr. Dale, who, uh, taught us a whole lot about construction. He walked up to me. He said to me, there's something that I see in you and I believe that you can be a leader one day. I said, hey, he sees this in me. I need to see it in myself. So it lit a fire up under me. That fourth week, the last week, everybody was employed already. I had chose a and Wall Systems. The graduation day, my boss now, you know, who, who owns the company now, he was there. You know, you don't, you're not used to seeing owners show up to things like that or, or whatever. So I was like, you know what, that's, that's a powerful statement. I mean, a, <laughs> a job graduating from something that, that, you know, I worked so hard for and to have a vehicle all in one week. <laughs> I mean, come on, come on. I mean, where do you hear that from? The Changing Gears Bridge Program provides clients who graduate from any of our industry track training programs with private transportation. What it looks like for those clients is Changing Gears will lease them out a car for nine months so that they can get to and from work. 
During that time, they work with Smart Money to continue to budget their money, save their money, and so that at the end of those nine months, they can either purchase the car that they've been leasing out or purchase their own private transportation elsewhere. At a a Wall Systems, after you learn so many things, you get stars. When you get a certain amount of stars, you get on that, that ballot to become a red hat. That's where you have leadership. You're able to go on sites and run a job. Hearing this red hat thing, it was scary at first because of my vision I had. As a young kid, there was a dream that I would have. There were plans in front of me. Stuff being, you know, construction going on behind me and I'm pointing here and I'm doing this with a red hat on. For it to come back around, we're talking 20 something years later and to actually be put in a position to receive that, oh, you know I'm going for it. I, I've actually received my first star. It was like, hey, this is my actual journey now to becoming a red hat. It is so hard for people to figure out what they, what their purpose is in life. Most of us just go day to day doing what we gotta do to make a dollar or whatever. I'm where I'm supposed to be. And I thank God every day. I just feel that I owe everything that's coming to me to this place. If it wasn't for CityLink, I have no idea where I would be right now. I think my childhood was kind of stolen from me at a young age. I mean, unfortunately, but that's the truth. And my mom struggled with addiction and whatnot, so she wasn't always there. Uh, grew up and grew up without a, a father figure. Um, um, I had a lot of siblings that I had to, you know, man up and guide and. I was just a kid trying to figure things out as well. And then I went through some emotional distress to where I didn't know how to properly cope because I was never taught how to cope with those kind of problems. And next thing you know, I'm addicted to opiates. It kind of took control of my life for a good five, 10 years. Like, I started to just violate all my morals for, for the things that I felt were more important. And then God put me in prison. I, be, I believe that. I, I, I wasn't arrested, I think I was rescued. And that's when God gave me a chance to just sit back and uh, to, get, to get away from all the problems, you know, everything I didn't understand. Well, my parole officer actually had said something about CityLink, and then I had a friend, a role model. He goes to Crossroads, he, he, you know, he would show up and take us all to church, and he was like, man, you should check out CityLink. My first impression of City Link was, it was good. I mean, I, I seen exactly um, what I needed. And I'm like, man, this is, this, is what, this is what God does right here. These people have it on display. They made it easy. The, the, the people made it easier. So my service coordinator is Monica. I mean, she will do anything for you. Finley Culinary is a 16-week program. Um, you do four weeks, basic, basic knife skills, and just the basic skills in general. City Link's kitchen is like amazing. You serve safe and then you go move to the restaurant and then you go do prep for four weeks at Social OTR, which you're an intern there. And you also do serve safe there as well. And you know, you would also kind of like put into act um, your measuring skills, your mise en place, your you just kind of learn to work together, take orders from the chef, you know, listen to the expo, read your tickets. So Finley Culinary Training have networks with, with companies. After I graduated Finley Culinary Training, Chef Anthony came up and approached me and he was like, hey, um, I want you to go here, like I think this is a perfect fit for you. And then he was talking about Fausto. And then I started with the, with the prep. I started doing the basics, just like making some vinaigrettes and making some aioli and uh, bring, uh, you know, trusting some chickens. So I've been at Fausto for eight months and I'm constantly learning new things. And as it went on, then more responsibility came on to me. And, you know, I'm trying to read cookbooks and I'm questioning chefs and I'm, you know, uh, oh, you want me to pick up this shift for free? Yeah, because I can learn something. At CityLink, I also utilized a few other programs, um, optical, uh, I had got some, got some glasses and then I also, I went to the dental. I mean, obviously it's free and you know, dental's like, cost a lot of money. They did Red Bike, Red Bike came in 
and uh, you got a pass for that for a year, which is super tight, still use that. Michelle Abernathy is amazing. Uh, the financial counselor at CityLink, every time I see her, it's just like, she just lightens the load. I've been doing financial education for the past 20 years and I still love it like it was when I first started. Smart Money Financial Education provides basic financial information for CityLink clients. Most clients coming in have very little information about their finances. So what, we're, what our goal is at Smart Money Financial Education is to help the clients create a budget, learn how to save, build assets, repair credit, so that they can create a sound financial future for their family. With Smart Money, you have to, it, it's, it's teaching you to budget, and you have a, a goal. Say you want a car for $2,000, but you know, you don't have nothing saved up. She just basically breaks it down, says, hey, you need to save this much money. And once you reach your goal, then you, you can get your car. So and it's like all these things are, they're kind of just waiting for you to like get where you're at. Smart Money Financial Education is the pathway to purchasing a vehicle through our partner, Changing Gears. We had to donate some time, help clean out some cars for the, maybe the next client. I have some basic like how to change a tire, or how to change your oil. So we are helping our clients understand the basic fundamentals of purchasing a vehicle, maintaining that vehicle to use to build a better future for themselves and, a f and their family. I've had my car for like five months. It just, it just makes things so much easier. I can literally go do whatever I want to do. I can go out and take my grandma shopping. Since I've started with CityLink, and I think it's been about a year, I have accomplished many goals. I'm just grateful for the barriers that CityLink has helped me overcome in my last year since I've been here. And I'm looking forward to the future. Growing up, I lived in a lot of different projects, project, 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 bounced around a lot, went to probably five elementary schools in six years. I mean, when, you real, when you're that young, you don't really know that you're poor, or you don't really know that everything is not all right. You know that you don't need that much when you're young. You know, it ain't until you get grown when you start needing and wanting everything and noticing everything. But I think I got to a fight and messed it up in the senior year. So I didn't get to graduate. And then that summer, I went to prison. I was in prison for 17 years. And if you ask me, there's no getting used to that type of living. For me to go to jail so young, it was frightening, it was shocking, it was different. <clears throat> you wake up the next day and for the first 30 seconds you don't know where you are, how you, you know, you got this lot of confusion. But you, you learn to deal with it, you learn to survive and keep going. Who can do 70 years? There's no light in the tunnel. Can you think that far ahead? Who's going to serve 17 years and make it? I did it. And that may be the most important lesson I learned that you can do more than you think you can do. And it's a lot of dangers between here and there. Mental, spiritual, physical. Throughout my whole life, uh, I've always had the very same support system. That's my mother. She began to send me literature, reading materials, she kind of keep me occupied. One day I just started cracking them books and learned that I had a love for literature and started studying people before me. Me and I consider greater than myself, stronger than myself. Once you get within like a certain time frame, the institutions will sign you up for what they call re-entry programs. There was a guy, he came in and he told me about CEO, $40 a day, side of the highway, but it was worth doing. CEO helped prepare me with resumes, they prepared you with interview skills, they connected you with people that they knew were hiring, so more jobs were to come. And with CityLink, I learned very soon had a wealth of resources. You could find just about anything you needed right here in this one building. And that to me was convenient and real cool. When I met Monica and they introduced her to me as my service coordinator, she pretty much put the world on my feet. Anything I want, anything I need, she made sure I got it. I moved to my first apartment. She gave me a referral to a place called New Life Furniture Bank where they bought me furniture, uh, couches, dressers. A few months later, she called me and asked me if I would be interested in working 
for a new life furniture bank. And that's what I mean by how cool people have been. Things come across her desk that may be helpful to me, she called me up. And when I got hired, I was making more money. I was working all year round. It actually is more fulfilling. Now be part of the team that's helping others the same way I was helped. My service coordinator, Monica, she's enrolled me into this construction program. Me going into this construction program is really all about making more money. You know, the more I can make, the more I can save. You know, the smarter I can be with what I do have. So I also learned about smart money, and that's where I was introduced to Michelle, who's been very helpful in teaching me about budgets and finance rates and loans and hoping to buy a house through Habitat for Humanity. That'd be cool. Why do you want to be a homeowner? Why, Cause, why is that? Because it'd be raining outside and then like, if you outside when it rain, you get wet and then a lot, I don't like to sleep out there. <laughs> so I need, I, need, I need a home <laughs> so I can put all my stuff. <laughs> I mean, who don't want to own a house? You know, you got neighbors. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I have some kids, I don't have any kids. You know, just a place where you know, like, with this your house. Like, you want to own it. It's been about two years since I first engaged the people at City Link. When you meet people that do things for you just because they want to, you know, it means a lot more than people just doing things for you because they have to. It means a lot more. So you, you want to kind of make sure that they know, you know, you're thankful. I am originally from Cleveland. I went to Wittenberg University in Springfield, Ohio. I lost both of my parents while I was in college. So I let that computer science major go. I kept my Spanish major and money did not, it did not work out. I ended up not having a place to stay. Me and my son even spent a night in my car. And then in the midst of a period of unemployment, my therapist told me about a program called Prescolas. She told me it was this free program, you get this IT training, they pay for your certifications. I didn't believe her, but <clears throat> I called down the CityLink and I get the information and I came to a information session. I was excited about starting Perscolas because when I was younger, computers was something that I was very interested in. Once I actually started the course, it was a little intimidating. It is a 10-week course. So you're there from every day, from nine in the morning until four in the afternoon, and it's constant instruction the whole time. But CityLink has an amazing support system set up. So I mean, you got people praying for you. You have service coordinators that are able to talk to you and talk you off the ledge when you're ready to quit, because I was ready to quit. CompTIA has um, kind of a trifecta with their entry level certifications. You have an A plus for IT support, you have network plus for networking, and then you have security plus. And Prescolis was willing to pay for all three. So I was like, they're free, and I'm going to get them, all three of them. Um, and it was not easy working full time with a kid, but still having a, you know, wherewithal to be able to study for another certification, but I did it because failure was not an option. I am now studying for my CISSP, which is the um, gold standard of certifications in cybersecurity. Perscolis actually has a business liaison on staff. So he was able to give us connections with um, different employers. The business liaison reaches out to me and he says, we have a board member who needs an intern. Do you want me to submit your resume? And I was like, are you kidding me? Yes, and I didn't think I would get the job. I just, <laughs> I got this job with Ohio National Financial Services and that board member to this day is my mentor and he is an absolute godsend. He had other VPs in the company give me mock interviews, so I was ready to interview with anybody by the time I was done with that internship. And then when I interviewed with the job that I'm at now, Cadre Security, one of the people in the interview sat on a board with him. Everything from the time I have graduated from Prescolas, everything has lined up to get me right here. 
Before Perscola's, I was making $19 an hour, which is roughly $38,000 a year. Today I'm making $75,000 a year. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> In an entry level role. Because this is so new to me, I still work with CityLink with smart money because I wanna make sure I don't mess this up. I've never been able to save money because I've never had enough money to save. Everything you need is in this one agency and that includes the volunteers. Listen, to be able to come in every morning and have somebody just as pleased as can be to smile at you and just to tell you to have a good day, just as they're getting your name tag, it means a lot. It is nice to be able to go home with a nice paycheck. But for y'all to be able to go home and know that you helped do this, we're not islands. We don't do any of this by ourselves. And the fact that there is a group of people that is always there to smile and to give you hugs and encouragement is so important. That's the reason that I always tell her whenever something good happens, I'm like, let me tell them so that they know that the work that y'all do here is so amazing. One of my sorority sisters was like, what is this place? What are they doing? Are you serious? So they're out here changing people's lives holistically? This does not exist anywhere. I just hope y'all know how much good y'all do every single day and the ripple effect that it causes. So you didn't just help me, you didn't just change my life. CityLink and the agencies within it have helped my son and have changed his life and how he looks at the world. So we're moving to Pleasant Ridge we are leaving the hood, and he told me one day that he didn't think that we would ever move. And when we go in and we go up the steps, <laughs> every stair, he's like, I love this, I love this, I love this place, mommy, I love this. And then he said, you did this for you. I did this for you. Hope and resiliency are alive and thriving all around us. Although the current health and economic crisis we're facing puts thousands more families in jeopardy of poverty, we are called to support our community now more than ever. Together we can bring both encouragement and life-changing resources into the lives of our neighbors. We invite you to come together with us as we roll up our sleeves and put our faith in action to profoundly transform lives and our community. Join us.